Yeah. And this and this bar came straight up. You see this, Jim? I didn't even lose in this one. I got there to be I'm like standing like this. SD9. TD9 drum review. This is Chris, and now this is a Simmons SD9 drum review. Simmons SD9 drum review. SD9 drum review. Alright, this is the TD9 drum review. And basically, uh, I had to bring the snare right down here because the kick drum pad stopped working. And this is my first night of having it, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Good name for Simmons. And um, the snare works pretty good, except it doesn't really have any bounce because it's kind of like hitting a brick wall. So you can't really go that fast, obviously. But um, sounds good for now. And, um, I actually had to turn the first tom into the snare. Which sounds decent. And, um, all these guys are pretty sensitive. All around here. You can kind of hit it pretty lightly and it'll pick it all up. Same with all these right here. Oh, this floor tom's a little weak. You can't really, it doesn't really pick it up on the sides right here. Kind of got to hit it right in the middle. But, those are the two problems I had with it, and this is, like I said, it's my first night of having it. Oh yeah, not to mention, um, the modules on the ground, as you can see, it's kind of annoying. Um, actually the L-arm, the piece didn't come with it, so, uh, it's supposed to have a bar that extends out, I guess, out here, so this thing is connected. And, um, obviously it didn't come with the drums, so, you know, I had it, uh, sitting up here. Kind of like this. The module was kind of connecting like this at first, but it was kind of annoying. You could kind of put it through that hole and have it straight, but it's just ridiculous that it's missing that piece. It just seems to work better on the ground. Also, because the power cord is like three inches long. <laughs> I mean, it's not really three inches, but it doesn't reach for it. It's one of the best electric drum sets I've ever seen in my life. It sucks. Don't buy it. Get it rolling. Something else. You know, Simmons sucks because if your mattress is the same brand as your drum set, it sucks. She got a video video. Yeah, this, uh, this HP mouse uh, actually stopped working too. Doesn't really click right. This is the Simmons SD9 review, and um, as you can see, my kick drum actually stopped working. So, but um, ever since I kind of put the snare drum down here, it's been working pretty good. I just kind of changed it to the kick drum sound. Yeah, you know? it's kind of like hitting a brick wall, but it does the trick. It does the job. Not really too much bounce, but who needs that, right? Who needs bounce? And um, you actually have to hit this kick drum really hard for it to actually register. You see, uh, when I hit it softly, you don't really hear anything. I can hit it with a stick, nothing. But, you know, if I kick it really hard, it'll go through. But, um, if you want to do double bass, you can't really do that either, because it doesn't really register both the hits. See that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. If you go like this. Press really hard. You get one kick occasionally. You can get uh, 
do singles and it'll actually pick it up, but uh, you have to hit it really hard and it's kind of pointless. Even then it doesn't pick it up every time. But, other than that, it's pretty good. I'm liking the sound of it. You hear that right there? If you listen really closely, you can hear the kick drum. Dude, you should go on me doing blast beats like random, random clip. I also came with this hi-hat symbol. It's got flames on it. Makes you think of Dragon Force. Breathing fire. It's really hardcore. But if you take this uh, MIDI cable out right here, it, you know, it's a little sound cable. It doesn't register somehow. I'm not sure why, but I haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, but other than the kick drum problem, um, I mean, the snare seems to do the trick. And um, kind of have the snare up here the first time. Besides that, and the... Um, the LR missing where the module's on the ground, and this time doesn't really work as good, and the power cord isn't really that long. But uh, it's the best kit I've ever owned, and I've only owned one kit. Don't buy it. And the power cord isn't really that long. Yeah, as you can see, the power cord's really, really long. Oh, I've got an idea how to make this drum set better. No, actually, no, I don't. Besides throwing it in the dumpster, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> this would be a good drum set if I was in, like, Gwar or, uh, you know, Godsmack or something like that, but... Where you at, dude? <laughs> See, one of the best electric drum sets I've ever seen in my life. This drum set sucks. Do not buy it. What's that? Simmons SD9? Oh yeah. That reminds me, I gotta take a crap real fast. No. So all in all, uh, Simmons SD9, I would not recommend this drum set. <laughs>